Tomo's tech. All right, it's Tomo. Today, I'm going to be having a look at the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. I'm just going to have a, a quick review and let you know what I think. Okay, first up, we'll have a look at some of the apps that are on the device. Some of these I've installed myself, others are already on there. So as you can see, nice array of apps, video player, all your multimedia stuff, and widgets as well. As you can see, there's quite a lot of Samsung bloatware, which anyone who's had a Samsung device before will realise that you get quite a lot. Just going to go into the task manager, which can be accessed with the on screen buttons. Just going to see how the device stands up with um, a game. So, this is Angry Birds Go, which is a free app. However, there are in game purchases and also in game sponsored power ups. It's pretty repetitive, the game, in that you just race around the same track over and over again. And as you progress, your vehicle gets quicker and you unlock other characters. So we'll just have a look, see how the device holds up. So far, the device holds up quite well, although these are just loading screens. So it's not really going to challenge the dual core processor at this stage. Okay, more loading screens. Wonderful. You actually get to pick what type of steering you want on this game. So you can either use the tilt function or you can use on-screen buttons, which I chose to do here. The game seems to be running quite smoothly, but the graphics are very, very low resolution and blocky. Um, so, mm, it's okay, I guess. If anyone's going to be gaming on a £100 device, you're probably better off spending your money on a PS3 or an Xbox 360. However, for media consumption, this is probably a better option, given that it's portable. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the device's performance on YouTube. So, it mm, took a few seconds to load up there. Probably down to the fact that it's got quite a, an old, slow processor in the device. We'll okay. have a look for something quite new. So, I've searched for a HD trailer. Let's see what comes up. And that'll do. And we've got a trailer to the new Robocop film, which is out in cinemas in March, I believe. Right, so we've got an advert, one of which you probably saw before this uh, video came on itself. We'll skip that. And the playback on YouTube is reasonable. It's not got a massively high resolution screen on the device, with it being a couple of years old now. The uh, playback's actually really good. Um, there's no lag between the audio and the video, which is something that usually does affect device at this price point. Okay, so now we'll have a look and see what version of Android the device is running. I have actually updated the software on this using the over-the-air updates that Samsung do provide. Uh, so we've got Android 4.2.2 running on the device, which is fairly up-to-date. I don't think that Samsung will be bringing out a KitKat flavour of Android for this device at this stage. It's a discontinued product and they're going to be wanting to push the new Galaxy Tab 3 and probably 4 within the next few months. Okay, we'll have a look at web browsing now. I've installed the Chrome browser, which is much better than the, the built-in browser that was provided on the device. So I'll just go on to the BBC News website and see how responsive the device is. Took a while to load, but that could be down to my internet connection. So browsing is fairly smooth. I go I can zoom in and look around and zoom out and it seems good enough to me. Okay, now we'll have a quick look at some 2D gaming because the 3D gaming wasn't fantastic but let's face it, not everyone wants to play 3D games on uh, a 7 inch device. So the game I've chosen is Angry Birds Star Wars 2 which is a fairly new title. It's been out for a few months now. Um, but it is quite an enjoyable one, although they did introduce in-game purchases to a ridiculous degree in this title. So, however, they've got to pay the bills somehow, and the majority of the game is free. I don't really mind in-game purchases when uh, you can still progress through the game without paying out. 
some titles at the moment you're completely at the mercy of a server deciding whether or not you are going to progress onto the next level so so far it looks fairly smooth I've tried the the same title on uh, some quad core devices with dedicated graphics chips and to be honest the experience is no better on those so for 2D gaming the Galaxy Tab 2 is a winner uh, let's see if I can finish this level Ah, excellent, that wasn't too difficult. Okay, now I'm going to test a device in one of Tomo's tests, which is not Netflix. So, from the device powered off, I'm going to time how long it takes until we can get the device powered on and get into Netflix to watch a film. And while that's running, I'm just going to run through some of the specs of the device. So the display is 1024 by 600 and it's a PLS TFT LCD display. It's 7 inches. Uh, the battery is 4000 mAh. You can, you can get about 7 hours out of the device depending on what you're doing. Obviously if you're playing games then it's going to run out pretty quick. Um, it audio is it's pretty good at playing music actually um, it just depends what you've got it plugged into um, video I've already sort of touched on it's not fantastic for 3D gaming as we've seen but let's face it if you want to play old Grand Theft Auto games then buy yourself a second hand PS2 I'm not going to go into details of the viewing angles of the display um, because it's such a small tablet you're going to have it pretty much in front of your face so um, overall I would recommend the device for media consumption as it's pretty pretty good and 2D gaming as well. Um, and yep, there we go. A minute 20, not to Netflix. That's not a bad score really. Okay, so I'm going to switch the Galaxy Tab 2 off now. Um, thank you for watching my video and please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also stay tuned because uh, there's an outtake at the end. Thank you very much.